Are you looking to learn how to make a needle felted fox? If so, then you're on the right video because today I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to make one of these and more. Hi everyone and welcome to today's video, how to make a needle felted fox newborn prop tutorial. My name is Iceland and on this channel, Snowflake Forest Felting, I share needle felting videos and tutorials. So if you're new and this interests you, please consider subscribing. And if you want to know more about anything you see here on this channel, be sure and check the links down in the description below this video or leave a comment. I'd love to connect with you there. So to begin, I'm going to show you everything you're going to need to make one of these. You are going to need the needle felting needles of your choice, a pair of scissors to trim up your project, and a tape measure, a fabric one works best so you know what size it is if you're also planning to make it in the newborn prop size. And then I like to use two surfaces depending on what color I am working on so it doesn't bleed into my project. And then you're gonna need a core wool for the inside of your fox, an orange for the outside, and some white and black as well. Again, this is the one I created, what it looks like. And remember, I'll have all this linked for you down in the description below, and you can learn more there. Now, let's get to felting. To begin, you're gonna to wanna to take out your needle felting needle, some of your bone colored wool to make the body. This is gonna be egg shaped, and about two inches in size when you're done felting it down. So you wanna start with a little more wool. If you're going to make this newborn prop size as well, which is around four inches in total. So just start piercing the wool, and as you're piercing it, felt it from all angles to create your egg shape. You need to add any wool, do so. It is easier to add wool than to take it away. You can also see here how loose this is. You're gonna wanna make this really firm. So just continue this process until it is completely felted. So just as you are finishing felting the body, make sure it is completely smooth. If you need to add any wool anywhere, do so. And you're gonna want it really firm like this. Then you can put it aside and begin working on the head. You're gonna want this oval shaped. And then we're gonna add a spot here for the nose. And then you're also gonna wanna leave a bit of the bottom loose where we'll attach this into the body. So grab a little bit more of your bone colored wool Pick the side that'll be the front and you can just loosely attach it to begin and then continue to felt that as one piece and shape it into the nose. You can make your nose however pointy you want. Just have fun with it. Get all this tucked in. See here I'll need to add a little bit and cover the back. Now just continue felting this as well from all angles until you have a nice little felted fox face. All right, so for reference, this is about two inches in height and it'll be about two wide when I'm done felting it. See again how loose it is. You really want this a lot firmer, like the body. If you still need to add any wool, add any wool, or cut any away, do so. Don't be afraid, and then just add the wool back over and begin to build up. So just continue this process. Now that you've finished felting your fox head, we're gonna attach it to the body. If you have extra wool here, remove that. Take the rest and fray it out. So you'll have a nice firm attachment here onto the body. Put the smaller point of your egg to where the head is, center and then start attaching it by felting it from all angles. Then to help secure it, take a little extra wool and you can place it around the neck area. Just be careful when felting this that you don't let it lump into kind of a ball. You'll want it to smooth up in to the other parts. So felt gently and slowly to really get the fibers to lay down where they're at and not just all center here. And now that you have those two items attached, it is time to start putting the color on your fox. You need some of your orange and your white. Let's start with his body and doing the white on his chest. 
And I made a few little fibers here. If you have any that don't belong, pull them out. You really don't want those messing up your white. So get a black one or a colored one every now and then. It's a little bit more with wool batting than wool roving. So don't cover the full front. It's just kind of a tummy and up into the chest area. If you want to make it look a little fluffier, don't felt it as much. Just going to get it started there for now. Then take some of the orange and begin to outline it. Just like so. To the other side. I'm going to make sure they're even. And then round the bottom. And then if you need to add in more white to fill it in, you can. Like so. Then take more orange. And you'll want to cover the whole rest of it. And you won't need to pierce this super deep, just on the light surface area. Just a quick short piercing action. And then just continue until it's completely covered. Be careful to not have any thin spots. Once you finish that, you're going to want to start to cover the head. I'm going to put a little white along the bottom. Just the chin and out to the whiskers some. Next you'll want to take the orange and cover the back of his head. Once you've started to get that on, you can continue to cover it with the orange. Come along the front and meet the white. And out to the tip of the nose. And then just continue this until you completely have your fox covered. Alright, once you've finished covering your fox completely with the color, go ahead and set it aside and we're going to begin to make the front two legs. So you want the same amount of wool. Make them at the same time. Roll it between your fingers here. Then you're going to want to create a mesh color with the two wools, so orange and black. Mix them back and forth as much as possible. So that on and that part. And then grab two little bits of wool, roll them between your fingers for the front paws. So you want the paws to be a little bit L-shaped, so just create a bend with the wool right where the, where the mesh and the black attaches. I'm going to roll this, you need to add a little of the mesh color, do so there. You want these really thin and skinny, so be very patient, continue to roll the wool, shape it, get the other one going, roll it between your hands some, and then just keep felting until you have two very firm legs. Alright, next you're going to want to take a little bit more orange and build up the orange because fox feet get more narrow at the end. Once you have finished making the front legs, you can do the same to make the back legs. You'll just want them to be a little bit bigger than the front. Then you're also going to give the leg a little bit of a back bend so your fox will have a nice round hip as well. And then the mesh colored along the leg point and then the two little hooves. Start felting them. So you'll make the leg kind of look like a bean with a sprout. I guess would be a good way to describe it. You want to do the same thing here, roll it, and felt from all angles. If you're using different spots where you usually use a normal color, you can, or if you need to use a new fresh spot to help not pick up wool, some people like to clean them. I just leave mine in place so then the mat doesn't chip away. Now you're going to want to take all your items here and give them all a really nice trim. If you need to do this over 
a trash can or where you have really well lit lighting or even outside. The birds can make little nests with the wool fibers. However you choose to trim up your objects. Just go ahead and do it to all of them completely, really thorough, felt any spots, make them look nice and finished. After you've finished trimming everything, it is time to attach all of them on. We're gonna begin with the front feet. Take the extra wool and space it all out. And on the back, just at the side, you're gonna wanna felt it all on. A little stick straight out like that and that's okay. We'll place it here in a moment. Take a little extra wool, put it around the base and felt that in. Then do the same to the other side. Add a little bit of wool. Then take a little more orange wool. That is going to go in between. And you're gonna to wanna to place the back leg on like so. And then use the wool to just cover it like this. And felt it on. A little bit more and do the same around the front. Do the same for the other leg as well. Then you'll want to fill the hind legs down and into the back legs and attach them some to the body, like so. And then you can place the front legs directly down next to them. You can give them a little bit of character with an angle if you want, a little more shoulder, bend it back some, and then attach it on as well. I'm going to place mine a little different because I think that helps give the fox character and foxes are playful. So continue felting until all the fibers are nice and smoothed out and everything is attached really well. Once you've finished attaching the legs and feet, it's time to work on the tail. Put that aside, grab some more orange wool. You're going to want the tail larger at the base to leave some loose that you'll use to attach. And then you're gonna to wanna to make a nice tip or a point at the other end of the tail. Where then we'll add a little bit of black and then we'll also add some white to this. So go ahead and just get started felting it. From all angles, you should also roll this as you felt it. Make it all nice and smooth. And then continue this until it's done. And you can make it have as much of a curve and point as you'd like. All right, once you've begun to get your tail finished, you're gonna to wanna to add some white to it in here and kind of similar to how I did the belly here. Grab that white, you wanna start at the base. It's not gonna require very much wool. Just depends on how fluffy and bushy you wanna make it. And then just start piercing it on. You can make this go however far up the tail you want it to. I'm gonna take this all the way to the tip. And then I'm going to take some black and give it a nice little point, just like so. And then continue felting this until it's completely all nice and smoothed out. Alright, as you begin to finish felting the tail, you'll also want to trim it up and make it all nice and smooth. Remove any excess fibers. Once you finish the tail, it's time to attach it. So you'll want to spread all the wool out and then use that to felt it right on in. And then you can take a little wool and cover it and add it on as well like so. And then continue felting that until it's completely smoothed out and attached. Then after you have your tail attached like so, you'll want to trim any of the excess fiber around it. You can go ahead and put it aside now. And it's time to make the ears for your little fox. So you're going to want two pieces of wool. You'll make these at the same time as well. Alright, so when you begin to felt your ears, you're going to want to make them even cup shaped or 3D. So you'll want to give it a point 
and then felt more on the inside, you'll flip it back and forth. And as you do that, curve it and felt it as if you're gonna almost create a bowl with it. Do the same to the other piece of wool and then continue this until your ears are completely felted. Once you have finished felting your little ears, go ahead and give them a trim, just a little one, and then take some white. You wanna line the inside bottom half of them with it. And then take a little black and add that on the tip of each ear. And then felt this really well. You'll see the white come through on the back and that's okay. We'll cover it up with a little bit of orange here. Just like so. And then continue until it's completely done. And it's okay if a little orange comes through on the white side. It doesn't have to be crisp white. Like that. All right, then as you're finishing your ears up, you'll want to give them a trim. All right, then once you've finished making your ears, it's time to attach them. Found out the wool. The white side is gonna go down and you can make them as perky as you'd like. However alert you want your fox to look. Make sure you attach them evenly on each side. Take a little orange wool you want to attach a little bit of it around where you're attaching it. Smooth it all out, even it in. All right, once you've finished felting the ears on, it's time to make the nose. You just need a little bit of black. Roll it between your fingers, make it into a little ball. Don't need too much. And you're just gonna felt it right on. Nice little tip. Trim any excess wool. Then for each eye, you're gonna wanna take a little bit more black wool and roll it really thin between your fingers. And then you're gonna make a triangle with the eye right onto the front here. You can trim it if it's a little too long. You want the top shorter than the bottom as well, like so. A little bit more for the other side. It'll help if you look at this straight on. Really want this rolled well. you have your eyes nice and even you'll want to give it a final look over and trim remove any excess fibers felt anything that needs smoothed out and just like that you can make a felted fox too that's everything you need to know to make a needle felted fox and be a fiber artist too. I hope you learned something new and enjoyed this video. If you think this video or any of my other videos may help someone, please share them. And if there's something you'd like to see me create next, drop it down in the comments below. I might just make it. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!